Hey, today is uh, April 11th. I'm going to look at trading the 30-year bond auction. Yesterday, we had the 10-year bond auction, which was a complete disaster. It uh, filled us and then went in the exact opposite direction. And I'm going to be uh, testing this out again today. I have my new uh, recording software set up. So hopefully this is going to be able to upload to YouTube okay, because my uh, previous one wasn't able to. Anyway, I'm going to be setting this up a little bit different. Let me show you guys here. I'm going to be using a five-point stop, five-point take profit. And for my uh, strategy, I'm going to be using a... Uh, basically, once we get two points in profit, it's going to move the uh, stop to break even plus one. All right? So that is my setup. And I'm also going to be using a three for my bracket distance. And my time that I enter is going to be 13.01 and 20 seconds. So we have about 11 uh, minutes to go here. Let me bring this back up. All right, I'll be back with you guys shortly. We'll see how this one does. All right, we're now 20 seconds out. Again, we're testing the 30-year uh, bond auction here to see if it's worth uh, continuing to trade in the future. About five seconds, my brackets will be entered. Here we go. Order, order pending. All right, should be out any time now. Order filled. Order canceled. Stop filled. All right. And it looks like it spiked down. We got filled down here. It came back up. This was a terrible trade. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see what happened here. Uh, zoom in. Okay, and I have no idea. It's not zooming in for some reason. Alright. Well, anyway, basically what happened was we used a 3. So we would have got in. Let me see. Around here would have been the point the bracket would have started one two three all right so one four six point oh six is where our bracket should have been placed at we got in at one four six oh three so we had about three points in slippage it went down one two points didn't quite uh go down that last third point which would have given us a, a stop loss or a break even plus one let me see, did I have it set to 3 or to 2? Okay, so I had the profit trigger set to 2. It just wasn't triggered. 1, 2. Alright, so if this uh, would have actually did what it was supposed to, once it hit 2 points in profit, my uh, stop would have moved up or moved down in this situation. And I would have been taken out right there for uh, 1 or for a plus one on this trade but that didn't happen and it looks like I was taking out let me see here I got filled here see if there was any slippage on the back side all right no slippage on the back end we got out at exactly 146.08 and this was as I said a second ago just a very sloppy trade you know there was no continuation of this In the past, I've seen it uh, do much better. And I have no idea why this week so many trades are just acting odd. This should have been a good trade. After looking back over the uh, past trades, it should have gone at least enough to give me five. But, nonetheless, <clears throat> this is one more that's in the bank. I'm not sure if I'm going to trade this anymore in the future. Or I might uh, start testing it on a demo now that we've actually seen how it does on the live account. The 10-year uh, didn't do well. The 30-year didn't do well. So you guys can uh, judge for yourself whether or not you want to continue uh, trading it. Anyway, as for me, I'm still in the testing phase for JOBB. And um, 
we're just gonna have to keep uh, testing them for the month of what month are we in now April I'm gonna you know just pretty much do everything live so that we can see how um, these things are gonna fill us anyway I don't want this to run too long so I'm gonna go ahead and end this now thanks